Okay, good morning. Welcome to Fun Math number 70. Fun Math number 70, which is actually Fun Math number 69, actually. I forgot your brother is one uh, one video ahead of you because we had a glitch one day with the camera or something. I can't remember. Okay, so angles and polygons. <laughs> so we've been talking a little bit about geometry. Yeah. And we learned that the, the angles in a triangle, no matter what the triangle is, we learned that A plus B plus C is what? 180. 180 degrees. Okay. So that's pretty neat. That's a neat fact. And do you remember do you remember how we showed that? We drew a line. Go ahead and draw. Up here. And what's special about this line that we draw? It's parallel to line B C. It's parallel to this line down here, right? And we extended these lines. And these. And because this was parallel. Because it was here, I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll reach it for you. Because it was parallel, this angle here is equal to angle B. Yep. And this angle here is equal to angle C. And we have A, B, C on the straight line. And we line have angle A, B, and C on a straight line, so they add up to 180. Okay, very good. Very good. So now we're going to do talk about angles in other kinds of figures, and we're going to start with a quadrilateral. Okay? So, loop, 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 loop. Okay, so now I have a quadrilateral, which means I have how many sides? Four sides. Four sides. So I'm going to have four angles. And we're going to try to figure out <coughs> what you do to count the angles here. Okay, now we can pick simple examples of quadrilaterals like a... Square. And what do the angles in a... Square. Add up to? 180. 360. <laughs> Why do they add up to 360? Draw a square for, because me, for fun. Each of these angles is 90. Each of the angles is 90. 90 is four times 90 is 360. Okay, now what about if we have an arbitrary quadrilateral? Well, we can cut it into a triangle. We can cut it into two triangles. It's supposed to be straight. Okay, that's supposed to be a straight line going from here to here. Okay, yeah. and it, it cuts it into two triangles. And each of the triangles sum up to 180, their angles. Okay. And there's two triangles, so they both sum up to 360. Okay, so if we cut it into two triangles, we know that this angle plus this angle plus this angle is 180, and we know that this angle plus this angle plus this angle is 180. But notice that all of those angles added together add up to the four angles in the quadrilateral. <coughs> you see that? Yep. See that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's pretty interesting. So it looks like for a quadrilateral, the interior angles add up to? 360. 360. Now let's do, see if we can do a pentagon. Our erasing woes continue. Okay, so now I have a pentagon. So let's see if we can extend this idea to a pentagon. Okay, what do you want to do here with this pentagon? We can cut it into some triangles. Okay, how many triangles do we get? We have three triangles. Alright. And each of them sums up to 180, the angles. Each of the angles in these three triangles adds up to 180. So all together, they add up to 180 times 3, which is 540. 540. Okay, so we have, again, these angles in this triangle add up to 180. The angles in this triangle add up to 180, and then the angles in this triangle add up to 180. But notice that the angles in all of these triangles combined add up to be the angles in the pentagon. And so we know then the angles in the pentagon add up to 540. And we can keep extending this idea for polygons with more and more sides. And we get a formula that says the interior angles in an n-gon add up to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Okay. So for a 3-gon, which is also known as a triangle, triangle we get 3 minus 2 times 180, or 180. 1 times 180, which is 180. For a 4-gon, 
which is also known as a quadrilateral, quadrilateral we get 4 minus 2, which is 2 times 180. 180. And that's because we chopped it into two triangles. 4 minus 2 is 2, two triangles. For a 5-gon, which is also known as a pentagon. pentagon, we had 5 minus 2, 3 times 180. So now, with, with that same idea, chopping it into triangles, we always have n minus 2 triangles. So I could say for a 12-sided figure, what do the interior angles add up to? It would add up to 1,800. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. All right. All right, good job, sweetie. That's a neat little geometry fact. So again, we're building little geometry towers, little pillars of facts. So we now know that for, for polygons, we know how to figure out the sum of the interior angles. All right, good job.